I'm Gary Siskar. I'm here to talk to you about the Solo Kite from Liquid Forest. What makes this kite the Solo Kite? Well, basically it has one single strut, henceforth the name Solo. How we came up with this design is we were working on a strutless kite actually, and we found a few things that we didn't like about how a strutless kite works. We tried a few different things and we eventually ended up on this nice single strut design. So what does that single strut do? First thing it does is it provides a nice canopy rigidity through the top, while at the same time we reduced a lot of weight. So the Solo is an extremely lightweight kite overall, starting with the fact that it only has one single strut. The other thing that we found out that this design does really well is it has a great wind range. Since the kite is so lightweight, it works amazing in low, low wind, and it also has a nice high-end range too. Um, it's extremely efficient overall. It depowers really smooth and really nicely. So the next thing I wanna talk about is the bridle that we use on this kite. We use an extremely simple bar bridle. What that does, it gives a nice direct connection from the bar to the kite. Obviously you're holding on to the bar, so that is the way you control the kite. So it creates a lot of uh, direct connection to it for bar response and turning speed. In other words, you could feel everything the kite's doing without even looking at it. So an extremely simple bridle that we have on this kite. The other thing it does too is it does reduce the chances of having this bridle wrap around the wingtip. So if you invert the kite, you crash the kite, it inverts over on itself, you have a reduced chance of having this wrap around the wingtip and creating a funky situation. So the other design objective that we had in Solo was making, like I said, something extremely light. So the other thing that we looked at was reducing the amount of Dacron that we use in the kite. So the Dacron is basically the heavier material that's used in all kite construction on the leading edge and on the wing tips where you need a little more durability and a little more rigidity and more support. So we did a lot of testing and we came up with the smallest patch, so to speak, or the area of Dacron that we can use in the wing tips while retaining a nice bomb proof construction. So what that does, it reduces the weight over all the kites since the the ripstop material itself is nice and lightweight. The Dacron is just a heavier material. So just by taking that away, you got it. We got a lot lighter weight kite. Um, talking a little bit about our ripstop material, we do develop our own ripstop called a Durex ripstop. Extremely UV resistant. You know you're outside kiteboarding all day long. So you want something that's very UV resistant and resistant elements. The other thing is very abrasion resistant. So when you're rolling up your kite, you crash your kite on the beach, uh, this thing just in terms of durability is just a lot nicer overall. The other side, when we talk about Dacron too and eliminating weight, you can see on our trailing edge, we eliminated a lot of use of Dacron down on the trailing edge. So that also makes the kite nice and lightweight, gives a nice balance to the kite in the sky, makes it nice and stable and very efficient in the lighter winds. Last thing I wanna point out, as in all of our kites, we use what's called the Max Flow Whoa, inflation system, how is that? So it's, this is the easiest to use inflation system on the market. Nice wide valve so you can inflate your kite about 40% faster than any other kite out there on the market using a standard nine meter valve and then deflates nice and easy too. So who's this kite for? This is a great all-terrain free rider kite, freestyle. It boosts actually really, really well for having a nice single strut works dynamite in the waves because of how fast the turning speed is and the bar response. So if you're looking for a kite that's a nice and all around kite, this is a great kite for you. The last thing is, since it is extremely lightweight, it has a single strut, it packs down really small and it has a ton of wind range, you can probably try to get away with a two kite quiver. So if you travel a lot, this is the ultimate travel companion, the Solo.